Hi, my name is Ms. Stroh and I am the Secondary Technology Integration Specialist for the school district. And today I'm going to be helping you learn how to record sound files and upload them to your teacher. You're going to be using a microphone that looks something like this, or possibly even a headset that looks something like that. The first thing I need you to do is follow the cable from the microphone down to the end and locate the USB. You need to plug that into the side of your netbook. It's found on the left hand side. When you first plug in your microphone to the netbook, it might have to install a driver in order for the microphone to work. If it does, you're going to receive a pop-up message in the lower right hand corner telling you that it's doing that. Wait until that process is finished and you'll receive another message telling you that the driver has been installed. When that process has been completed, we need to make sure that the recording levels are adjusted so that you can hear yourself appropriately on your sound files. To adjust the recording levels, go to the Start button, Control Panel, select Hardware and Sound, Sound, Recording tab, and double click on your microphone. Select the Levels tab, and you'll notice that I already have this little slider already slid up to 78. You'll notice that it's adjustable by clicking on it and sliding it back and forth. When you originally came to this screen, your slider was probably way down here. If we would not have adjusted this, you would not be able to hear yourself. Click OK, click OK again, and go ahead and X out of that. To find Sound Recorder, click on the Start button, All Programs, and Accessories. The sound Recorder looks like a little microphone, and the easiest way to find it is to right click on it and pin it to your taskbar. When you want to use Sound Recorder, we'll just left click on it on the taskbar. I'm going to drag this down over here to the middle of my screen so you can see it better. And when you want to record, you simply click on the Start Recording. You'll see the timer begin to click off, and as you're talking, the green light goes up and down. When you're finished recording your audio file, simply click Stop, and that will bring up your document library. Hopefully your teacher has directed you as to where to store your files and how to name them. For this example, I'm going to show you how to save your audio file within your music folder underneath your libraries. Make sure that you're under your documents. You should see music. Click on it, and we're going to create a new folder for this class. Maybe you're in English, maybe you're in science. Type in the name of the class and hit enter. Double click on that folder to make sure that you're actually saving to it and highlight the portion of the untitled file in front of the WMA and rename it as directed by your teacher. Maybe you are directed to save it according to the date, October 25, hour 1, and your ID number 13426. That way the teacher knows what assignment it is, what hour you're in, and the student ID. You can save it and you're finished. Congratulations on creating your first sound file.